morning guys, it's Paul from AECS. I'm here for this morning to talk to you about Jaltith diagnostic equipment for commercial vehicles, agricultural vehicles and off-highway equipment. This morning uh, we have a brand new 2018 Kenworth K200 with Cummins ISX power under the bonnet uh, we're going to plug in uh, and just have a look and see how deep the software goes, uh, the, the information around wiring diagrams and component information uh, we want to show you right through that this morning. So I'm going to get my, my gel test diagnostic uh, link box plugged into the truck uh, to show you how simple that is um, and we'll, we'll get talking to it on the software. So the plug's nice and convenient for us here on this truck, just by the door, so no climbing. Plug in, we can see we've got power on the box now. Uh, I'm going to turn the ignition on and uh, we'll, we'll go back to the, the screen to have a look through the software. So now we're connected to the vehicle, uh, I'm going to go straight into the diagnostic menu and start our vehicle scans. So selecting heavy truck, Kenworth K200, I'm going to select the new high speed communication plug uh, which we're using today start the vehicle scan it's asking me to scan the vehicle or scan the vehicle and display the codes I want to see the codes so I'm going to select that one okay so it's identified anti-lock braking module uh, Cummins ISX 15 uh, CM 2250 engine extra high pressure injection common rail diesel uh, and of course the the engine brake system is on there as well. Um, now it's identified the modules, it's now asking if there are any faults. We've now got faults appearing in the anti-lock braking system. It's now reading the engine module. We've got five faults showing in the engine module, uh, which we'll have a look into in more detail now. The engine brake has come back with no codes so we'll go straight into engine module so we're now looking at those codes that it's brought back so I'm now going to expand on the engine module faults and we're going to have a look at the uh, faults that are in there we've got add blue issues um, level sensor on the add blue uh, a boost air pressure sensor which is a, an essential sensor sensor on an engine so that's, uh, that's occurred four times I can see on the screen, so we'll, uh, we'll investigate that straight away. First of all, we need to connect to the engine module. At the moment, all the gel testers done are scanned and re recovered the codes. So we're now gonna talk directly to the module uh, and start our diagnostics. Okay, so we're now in the what we call the diagnostic menu, where we can run diagnosis again, clear the errors, look at system data, uh, parameters uh, for all, all of the engine um, from cruise control maximum speed etc live data essential information actuation of components etc but I want to go straight to this fault so we'll run diagnosis again here we can see uh, gel testers flagged it up as a high priority problem as I said that's an essential sensor so uh, it shows us high priority with that warning triangle at the end of the code information we've got show help that'll take us to uh, information regarding that sensor so possible error causes here we've got the component that caused the problem uh, and now we can go to information about that component we can look at its location its pinout resistance values from that and even the tightening torque uh, should you have to replace it. We can go straight to the wiring diagram. Uh, this may well be a, a wiring problem, so we would need to have a look at the wiring, need to look at the live data as well to see what the actual output of the sensor is. So Jaltest has highlighted the component on the wiring diagram for me. I can see the connection back to the ECU. Uh, I can start doing my wiring checks if, ne if necessary. I can also double click on the component, all the diagrams in Geltest are interactive, 
So you can double click through to the component directly from the wiring diagram. Again, information we saw before. Back to my diagnostic menu and go to measurements, which is live data. Uh, I can look at system display, which is a, a picture format uh, of engine fuel pressures, etc. Or I can go to uh, the full list of measurements. Okay, we're going to now have a look at the live data. Now, with all common rail engines in gel test, there is now uh, what we refer to as system display. So it's a, a graphical image of the the engine and the components, all regarding the fuel system. So uh, injectors fuel pump, uh, fuel temperatures uh, are typical of what we can see. This truck being so new has uh, AdBlue, EGR, DPF of course um, and there is a what now a, a five page system display so not only are we going to see all the fuel system in a, a pictorial form we're going to see all the exhaust uh, information at the same time, the DPF uh, temperatures etc so we'll have a look in there now so we can see water detection in, in the fuel sensor voltage, uh, fuel pump actuation currents, uh, injector flow and the command values, rail pressures, um, actual signals and expected signals, accelerator position, engine load, etc. Absolutely fantastic for uh, doing a, a road test to uh, assess the performance of any vehicle like this. So moving on to the uh, DPF add blue system we can now see all the oxidization information information coming from the exhaust uh, add blue pump activation etc onto the second page uh, we've now got voltages um, further temperatures uh, pressure differential information third page of information add blue uh, tank contents how much is in the tank um, temperatures in the exhaust, uh, nitrogen oxides as a parts per million uh, display. This truck's not running at the moment, so of course we've got a, a zero on that, as you would hope to expect. Um, but yeah, that kind of information. Going down the menu further, so we can now actuate components if we would like to. Uh, solenoid valves, cooling fans, etc. We can go through some system checks, uh, doing cylinder cutout, uh, fuel system checking, valuation uh, of the injection, test mode on a roller bench, so the checking when you're on a, a in brake rollers, uh, starter motor lockouts, um, exhaust gas counter pressure, add blue checks, etc., etc. Maintenance. Um, I said just before, maintenance on these vehicles now um, scheduled by the manufacturer. Uh, this enables you to do maintenance in exactly the same way as the manufacturer would. Uh, give you, gel test gives you that information uh, in the vehicle service data. Uh, obviously resetting once you've done a service, very important. Not just for engine oil, but gearbox, differential, etc. Uh, that uh, all needs to be managed. Calibrations. Uh, typical calibration on here, we've got injector coding available. Um, other ones for transmissions might be uh, calibrating the clutch and the gearbox after a clutch replacement or gearbox removal and replacement. Configuration, so um, Cummins engines are, are able to be configured in different uh, power ratings etc. Uh, operational data as we were talking about before, so fleet management. Um, that's all here for you to see. Data record and clearing the data record. Um, that's for uh, workshops to, to manage their fleet with. So thanks for watching today. I um, hope you've learned a little bit about gel test diagnostics. If you'd like to know more about gel test and talk to one of the team here at AECS, 
Um, you can contact us on 0687490077 or you can go to geltest.aecs.net to find out more information. Um, I just want to say thank you again and uh, we wish you all the best with your diagnostics and we look forward to seeing you again in training soon.